Hello, welcome to Solix Nation. We want to start off by talking about the next exciting thing we have. It's in four weeks and it is our Australian Day of Discovery. Yeah, we're going down under. Uh, it's November 9th to 11th, yes. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and if you are planning to be at that event, we look forward to seeing you there. I think we only have a handful of tickets left. Yeah, they're almost sold out. You know, so if, if you are in the area and, and can make it to the Gold Coast of Australia, it's going to be a wonderful time where we just, like every DOD, it is going to be a lot of high fives and big hugs and a lot of fun along the way. That's right. And speaking of Dave Discovery, can you believe we're still talking about Dave Discovery? I don't know if we'll ever end. We, it, it doesn't sound. <laughs> we go from one Dave Discovery to the next, really if do. you haven't noticed, because and, it's all about like learning yes. and new stuff. And we did way too many new things at the last one. No, we didn't. We should be good for like <laughs> five years, but no, we keep rolling. Uh, the next day of discovery is going to be virtual, and that is in March, and that starts March 6th. Now, when we say it's virtual, it's all pre-recorded, mm -hmm. so you will be able to tune in on March 6th, and it will be open until the 12th of March, and so you can watch it at, watch it during that week as you can. And we, we announced it because we know a lot of you plan to get together as groups, and, and which we totally encourage, and yeah. we think that's a wonderful thing to do. Make sure you gather, and so now you know the dates if you're going to plan a gathering, some sort of, a, some of you do Airbnbs, sometimes, yeah. you, sometimes you guys do bed and breakfast, and you gather as groups and watch uh, in a hotel, you know, uh, conference room. Uh, keep doing that. We, we hope you'll do that again this time, but we're, we're already planning and building out what uh, great new updates we have for you in March. It's crazy. We just, we just never stop. Yep. We love it. You know what? This is the time of month that we get to announce our newest rank advancements. Let's go ahead and take a look at that list. Let's do it. Did you see that? We have a new pearl. This is our second pearl ever in the history of Solex. Congratulations, Beck. Well done. A lot of hard work behind that. A lot of, a lot of crafting and, and training and following up and just loving and supporting those people in your downline. We have other pearls that are on the way right now. We uh, do. That, that we do. Are working towards that. But Katie Jane as well. That's no small feat either to platinum. get to platinum. Katie Jane, well done. That is a lot of uh, effort and time and dedication on your part. And uh, we see it, and we are so proud of you. And also, I mean, we have the gold and the silver here, and we yeah. also have the, the bronzes. All of you, just to reiterate for those that don't know, this is not, not a, you hit it one time, one month, and great, you're a, you're a new rank. No, it, you did it three months. Three months of hitting the mark, that qualified you for the rank advancement bonus, and which then qualifies you as you maintain the rank, for the monthly rank bonus. That's All right. of those are increases as you obviously go up. That's right. But we have a new thing to talk about. We do. With the next incentive trip, which we showed you already, yes. which is the Mexican Riviera, it's a cruise. We have a trip for one is 15 to qualify, a trip for two is 25. But it's not just increasing the number of customers and QLAs that have 100 points or more over your baseline. It also, there's a benefit when you rank up yeah. or when your directs rank up. And so in this case, Beck ranked up. Yes, she ranked to Pearl, which gives her... Negative 10 against the qualification status. So That's right. for a trip for one, it was a, it was a 15. Yeah. She only has to get five, but I know Beck, she's not going for a trip for one. No, she's not. She's going for a trip 25. for two. So yeah. 25. So now Beck needs 15 new people... Well, but Katie Jane ranked up. So what does that mean? Oh, well, Katie, because Katie Jane is her direct, mm -hmm. that also is a reduction. I believe it's four, four right? Yep. So wait a minute. For a trip for two, like, okay, minus 10, that's 15, minus four. Beck only needs 11. And then Katie Jane obviously had a reduction. She had Allie also rank up as a gold. Oh so my she gosh, gets I her feel like we're giving away these trips. <laughs> we are. <laughs> You know, but you see that the benefit, that not only are we talking about growing your business and encouraging you to do that if you're part of the business side of things, but also helping your directs to do so as mm -hmm. well. And then obviously as that trickles down, as we help and support and craft and work and sweat and blood and tears and all that stuff, everybody benefits. That's right. Right. Let's talk about our top enrollers since we're on this track. 
And this is for the week of October 1st through the 8th. We have no ties this week. That never happens. No. Um, but for second place, we had... Mary Roman, congratulations. Great hard work this last Good week. Good job, Mary. And, and we've seen this name before. We've seen both of these names, Mary. Yeah. And our first place is Rita Dickinson. Congratulations to you, Rita. This is your 150th uh, <laughs> Feels like it, right? like silver coin coming your way. <laughs> yeah, coming your way. Good job, Rita. Good job. Silver coin. You're already part of the Legacy Club, but now you've just added some insurance there, I guess. That's right. Wonderful job. Last week, we talked about um, adding blue oh and bright to together. your bright yeah yes. and some people are already doing that and they're posting about oh it's it. so fun it really is we love it. i've had it done to me in fact i just a couple weeks ago i had uh, the bright and blue put together yeah uh by a master esthetician who happens to be my daughter and you had a facial she, and i had a facial and she he's took not care blue he didn't and turn blue. And i didn't turn blue <laughs> my, my mouth is in fact, your mouth is always uh, blue you know <laughs> <laughs> but with that, I mean, in and of itself, we wanted you to go and look at something that was interesting with our blue product. It's the colloidals that we added. That's right. The copper, silver, and gold. Mm -hmm. And wanted you to go learn something about it or share something with us about the benefits of the colloidals. And with that, we're going to give a big giveaway. We're going to give both blue and bright. Yeah, to away. three people. Wow. No, that's a big giveaway. That's a big giveaway. So let's mix up. We have a lot Love of Love this giveaway stuff. I know. I do too. All right. The first one is Rita Flores. I was first introduced to colloidal silver as an antifungal. As peanuts are known to be highly fungal, I add a small amount when I purchase a jar of peanut butter. Hmm. Something interesting I learned about colloidal gold is that it can be used to decrease dependencies of addictive substances and stimulants. It is also, oh, it is said to support synaptic function and facilitate a greater sense of mental stability and increased energy levels. Along with the colloidal copper, they create a synergetic combo. So excited to share this powerful product. Thanks, Solex. I love that. And, and if I were to add, and you add that to methylene blue, oh, yeah. and the, the synaptic benefit is huge. You, you want to throw like the, oh, I got a big one. Uh, this is, uh, who would you say? Lowenthal 33? Lowenthal 33. Give us a call so we know who you are. Yeah. Colloidal silver is my go-to for common colds, pink eye, eye infections, and sinus and skin issues, especially with my children. I've also used it on my dog's wounds for about 10 plus mm. years. About four years ago, I was, re I, I was recommended to start taking mineral gold. It wasn't, I, I wasn't sure uh, at the time, but just followed my instinct and followed through. Later finding out that it helps with joints, nerves, blood pressure, and brain function. I would use both, but not as often as I should have. Then I started doing quick scans in the morning. Most of the time, mineral gold would be recommended in my supplement list, as well as gold by Solex, which I also purchased. So now, thanks to Solex and my dedication to my well-being, I'm providing my body with the needs of minerals like silver and gold regularly. Thus far, my knowledge on copper is limited, However, I'm inspired now on educating myself further on this mineral, thanks to Solex. One step at a time, one bit of knowledge at a time, and a lifetime of knowledge for optimal health. I absolutely love that. I love who, this person's like, just the forward positive looking of, I'm, I'm a learner. I'm going yeah. to learn and I'm going to grasp. And mm -hmm. there's a lot, actually, all the comments on this, on this post, on this YouTube poll from, from last week. Yeah. Go back if you want to start learning about, about something colloidals. you didn't know. Yeah. There's so many great comments oh, that yeah. you can go off of. But wonderful. I, I learned from several things that she just said. My that goodness. Was a great comment. All right. Last one. Mixing it up. Last one. This is C Healing. So give us a call, C Healing. Well, I am not familiar with gold and copper colloidals. But every single time my kiddos or myself are starting to get sick, we have a colloidal silver spray that goes up the nose and down the throat because it helps so much at deactivating bacteria, etc. Colloidal silver is a staple at, in my house as a single mom of three kiddos. I love so much that we now have blue, especially for my youngest little dude who has neurological stuff going on. Can't wait to see how this paired with red light or infinity wand can help him. Yes. That's amazing. Huge. Yeah, the, the Infinity Wand, uh, one of the things I, I introduced at Day of Discovery was the research on a neural regeneration, 
mm-hmm. right? The, the yep. proof from two, uh, um, a university as well as an institute of neurology uh, out of China, they did studies on, on, on um, terahertz mm-hmm. effect, and, and it had a direct impact on oxygen flow to the neurons in the brain, which we know obviously is important, but also neuronal g- regeneration, which was, mm. is huge. So add that with blue. Add that, and you, uh, these combinations are, are so, it's interesting what we're putting together, and, and part of it is intentional, so part of it is just a byproduct of benefit. Right. Uh, of so many angles in to achieving multiple positive results. But right? we do a lot of this on purpose. Um, for example, when we launched the 660 band, we knew that we were going to launch blue. Oh yeah, we were already in the works. It was uh, already of crafting yes, it, right? Yeah, because we knew we read about the research we had yep. been researching ourselves the uh, the combination of methylene blue with red light therapy and the powerhouse that that is. Yeah, I think I think we had tested a version of methylene blue uh, at least six months prior to that day yeah, of discovery. We did. So. You're, we're talking more than a year ago is when we really started down the road of what is now blue. Yeah. And now we have it, and most of you love it, and, and it's growing, and, and people need it, I think. They do. Keep getting that word out there. Now, something that else that we announced at Day of Discovery that we haven't talked about yet mm-hmm. is a new course um, from Jennifer Nelson Hawks, and this is called The Power of Patterns. Let's take a look at the trailer. In my opinion, this is the most important part of the entire vital scan. We're gonna be walking through most definitions, but I will also be linking those pieces back to other places in your report to double check some imbalanced frequencies that you might be seeing. So monitoring and addressing these markers be able to help you identify or help you at least manage some digestive imbalances that might be going on that can help promote some healthy digestive. And this is very, very common when blood work is done on people looking for inflammation or an autoimmune sort of anything. So you might have symptoms of fatigue, joint pain, or fever. If you have these populating, they can be a red flag of increased blood sugar levels increased hunger and that weight gain. This is a one that you really do want to pay more attention to, is your hydrochloric acid. So if you start watching these blood sugar regulations now um, and you start to see red flags, it's something to be, be mindful of this. It can be a lot sometimes and I just want you to know that if we just take little bits of information at a time, Sometimes that's enough to open our eyes up to the big picture of what might be going on. So this is going to provide information about the risk of cardiovascular diseases. If that is out of balance, you want to look at those other places and find out, okay, could it be a bacteria? Could it be a parasite? Could it be food? Could it literally just be inflamed and inflammation from food? Or is there a parasite? What is it? I look forward to seeing you all soon. not working. Yes! Oh, I turned it off. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today. Welcome to today. <laughs> oh, okay, because lo- I'm like, dip, dot, bit, uh, 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 uh. Good, I can take water. As, as I am, do I feel like I'm blah, 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 blah. APOB, um, it, and A, A dash, AP, wow. AP dash, APO, wow, sorry. HDL-P stands for, uh, sorry, this is, see how it's hard? Yeah, but, but I'm not gonna lie, when I get to the end, I'm like, I'm like, go look at your scan. <laughs> do I need to do that one again? Will it be easier for you? Okay. By Bridget, wow, Jen, I might have to take a walk. Now we're on to insulin resistance. And it's, it's, wow. <clears throat> Molly, oh, I always forget this one. Molly Benindimnim. Molybdenin. <laughs> All right, so this next session, session? <clears throat> this next session, wow. <laughs> it's not funny, I've been talking way too long. 
the bone growth index. Now these are all about understanding the musculoskeletal health and function. Whoopsies. That's probably just me getting tired. It's a lot of information. No, this is a lot. Are we almost done with vascular? I'm over the heart. Yeah. Health and influencing aspects of the female uh, psychology, the female physiolog physiology. I feel like I do have psychology going on over here. <laughs> yeah, let's start over. <laughs> I got to be in the room with Jennifer when she was filming this course, and I have notes upon notes upon notes. I, I, I had run a vital scan on myself before she came in, and as she was going through and recording this course, I was going through line by line on my vitals report and um, listening to her explanations about what each item meant. And she was linking things that I hadn't even considered. And you know, I think one of the hardest parts about um, the scanner is understanding reports. Yeah. I think I've heard that a lot of times that people yeah. don't understand, myself included, how to read the report and to really know what to do next. Yeah. Yeah, and Jen is br brilliant. I mean, she has, she's had a clinic herself. She's, she has a rich history of what the scanner is from the very yeah. beginning. She's had as it well since as the very prior beginning. To that. I mean, the big, she's had, she's been exposed to so many versions yeah. of what is in your hands today and what, what's available to you right now. Mm -hmm. She is a brilliant mind and she does a great job. Jen does a great job taking something that's really complex. Mm -hmm and making it so accessible to all of us. She really does. And you, you take this giant vitals report and she shows you the power, the patterns, which is obviously the, the title, yeah, the power, power of patterns, patterns, right? She shows you the patterns and what to look for and what links to what. Anyway, this is a very valuable course. Yeah. So and it she, comes with some things. It does, it does. It's a two and a half hour course. Yes. It comes with a 75 page book and it's at the, at the price of $99, which I think she was very, uh, um, aggressive in trying to push down that given all of that was required to make that recording. Oh yeah. She, it's worth a lot more than $99. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the, the great thing with this book is it will be updated as we update vitals. So anytime there's an update in vitals, Jen said that she will update her book to, to coincide with that, um, update. Yeah. And if you want to find the course, where do you find the course? You can go to solexglobal.com. You can go to Solex University, find the new course there and follow that link and, and, Get, get on the course, start, yeah. start learning from her. I promise you will love it. It will open so many doors for you. Now we announced lots of things at Dave Discovery. One of them was a new product called Pulse. And we've had a lot of great feedback about it. We've also had a lot of people saying, what in the world is this? Yeah. So let's, uh, let's show them a little bit about what Pulse is. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Pulse, Solex Pulse. Let me tell you a little bit about what this is and what we're going to talk about. We're talking about fighting inflammation, better brain function, supporting healthy blood pressure levels, anti-fatigue, helps with skin health, helps nutrient and oxygen, support, uh, oxygen to the cells. Okay, so in general, what we're talking about is a circulatory system. We introduced the 660 band recently, and you guys love that. You guys use that band. One of the things that does is it works really closely with the circulatory system. We don't have anything that best supports the circulatory system. There's plenty of things out in the marketplace that do, but we think we have something different. We think we've, we've argued something new here with what is Pulse. Now, all of these benefits in and of themselves are wonderful, right? But when you couple that with light wave therapy into the bloodstream, and then you couple that with something like prime and think to the brain, you're now creating a massive beneficial delivery system, 
right? You're trying to make the delivery system as functional as possible. So with Pulse, we're looking at the circulatory system as a whole. When you think about that, of course, it's a system of organs. We all learned about this in biology. We, we understand what's involved. We have the heart, we have the arteries, we have the blood vessels, including the blood inside of it. 60,000 miles long, right? You can circumvent the globe twice. This means we need to get this right because it's here that we can have a bit of a struggle when we're trying to properly oxygenate the body or bring the right nutrients to the body in order to, to deal with whatever situation we're facing with. And so we, we consider what can we do to best support the circulatory system that isn't necessarily in the marketplace. Well, what we're trying to do is create the right nitric oxide reaction within that system. The reason for that is critical. The nitric reaction, what is it? It's a gas, right? And it's going to create a certain uh, signaling transmission in the body to tell the body to do certain things. One of the best things it can do is help the body's circulatory system relax, become a little bit more pliable, be a little bit more flexible. The reason that's important, when you think about blood pressure and you're, th you're thinking about um, this whole system, we, in order to be able to reach the end of the row, you need to be able to have that elasticity because of the pressure buildup in that blood pressure scenario. Think of the heart like, a, like if you were to have a pump here, if I had a pump on stage and I had a, a liquid that that pump was supposed to push through and I pushed that liquid through a steel pipe, all of the pressure is being born by the pump. The pump has to do all the work, right? The pipe is doing really no work. It's not helping at all. It's too rigid. It's not helpful for getting all of the, the, the fluid to the end of the pipe. All the work is being borne by the pump itself. Now we need the pump, the pump being the heart. If that was not a steel pipe and more of a rubber or flexible pipe, Every time that that pump struck its, its cycle, that flexible pipe will elastase with it. It will, it will have some elasticity and it will flex, right? Because it's flexible, you're taking all kinds of pressure off of the heart itself. But you're also coupling with that the ability to get the fluid to the end of the row. Right? And not putting so much pressure on the, on the pump itself allows the nutrient, the oxygen, to the end of the row, which is what we want. In order to do that, what did we want to do that was different? Now we'll talk about the ingredients in just a second. But one of the ways that we wanted to do this so that it had the most impact with the least stress on the body was by doing it in a nano form. And we've been working for the last, uh, the majority of this last year on the right way to particle size the molecular structure in such a way where we can make it as small as possible and in the right pattern so it can be held in suspension. What does that mean? Okay, think of... Uh, a nitric oxide product that you would buy off the shelf at Amazon, okay? Not nano size, just regular powder form. You mix it in your drink and it does. It does its job, right? It's going to create the right nitric oxide reaction in the body. You're probably taking five grams of that in order to be able to get that reaction in the body in order to get the benefit. And you're gonna feel it, right? You're gonna feel the blood vessels. You're gonna feel it, uh, it flex and, and you're gonna feel it in your heart rate and everything else that goes with that. And that's wonderful. Without a nano-sized product, you're talking about the something that is the size of the earth. When you nano-size it, it becomes the size of a marble. Right? Massively different in structure, in size. Why would we do that? Why would we want to do that? Well, in order to be able to effectively do that, one of the things that we want to do is if we can get the structure small enough, then we actually create a whole new world of benefits. 
for just this line that we're talking about. Now, there's so many other things that we have ideas about, but what is a nanometer? Well, a nanometer is a size, right? It's one billionth of a meter. It's super tiny. When I say earth to a marble, we're really talking about really tiny, really, really small. We do this, so we take, if, if uh, what you buy at Amazon that had a nitric oxide reaction was the size of the earth when you absorb it, no, it's not the size of it, what it means is it's the same molecular structure, right? What they put together in that powder is the same, but it's just bound in multiple chains over and over and over again. And so you have this massive chain of product, of ingredient that you're absorbing, but then what are you doing with that? How do you get the benefit of that? In order to get the benefit of that, you have to absorb it and then digest it. To digest it, you're trying to break it down small enough so that it can then be passed and absorbed into the bloodstream. Okay, great. In that whole process, you're taking the length of the intestinal tract to try and absorb, and it's not going to absorb everything. In fact, you're going to pass plenty of it. That's why they need to give you five grams. They give you five grams because they knew that there's only a portion of that they're actually going to be able to absorb and utilize. The rest is there because you're going to pass it, but we don't know how much. We just need to give you enough so that you can take it. What does that do? Well, when you take more ingredient than your body needs, what are you stressing? You're going to start to stress other systems within the body, not just the digestive tract. You're stressing it with more than what it needs to absorb, what it needs to try and break down. When you convert over to a nano-sized particle, absorption begins at the moment of touch. As soon as it hits your mouth, it begins absorption. It begins to pass through the barriers or the size that's required in order to get those molecules into the bloodstream. When you do that, there's a couple things that happen. Not only are you removing the stress on the other systems of the body, not only are you lessening the stress on those other systems, liver, kidney, so forth, but you're also maximizing the use of whatever you take. And so you take it into your body and you're trying to pass it into the bloodstream. So whatever you take gets utilized. If you utilize it, then you're going to get the reaction you want. You get the reaction you want, then the chemistry, the biological process takes place. But there's more to that. When we talk about atomic, molecular, and supramolecular scales, we're talking about the, is there other things that can be influenced on the chemistry of the body when you make it a nano size? And the answer to that is yes. In fact, out of the University of Minnesota, they found that when particles reach nano size, the nano size are between one and 100, and pulse is, within, with, is less than 100 nanometers per particle. At that size, quantum effects begin to influence the behavior of the properties, meaning they're tunable, meaning frequencies begin to influence how the molecule acts in the system. Does that make sense? That is powerful in and of itself. If you can get something small enough, then energy itself begins, begins to influence how it's acting upon. We want to act upon the chemistry in the best way. Remember, just, just a, a few minutes ago, I talked about the different ways in which we attack different problems or different challenges in our system, in our bodies. We don't just want to stay with one way. We don't just want to stay with chemistry. We also need to add the frequency side. And we all know this, right? We're all in this room because of this. When we add the influence of frequency to the nanoparticle size and it becomes, by clinical study, influenced because of its size, that means what you program in your scanner for the well-being of your circulatory system that can influence the nano-sized particle of something that creates a nitric oxide rea uh, reaction actually has a one-to-one -one comparison, meaning this influences that, meaning you are working on a health issue, you're working on blood pressure, you're working on heart health, you're talking about coupling the chemistry with the frequency because of the way in which we're delivering it. 
We're bringing the nanoparticle size in such a way that it will be dialed in by you, right? By your use of the scanner. Let's talk about one other thing. When you talk about nano size, one of the things that we're also talking about is not just size. We're not just going from earth to marble, right? Just so it passes through more efficiently because you're not losing all that was in the earth, if you know what I mean. So what you're doing is you're taking all of the molecular, uh, um, uh, bounded molecular structures that is in the earth. You're breaking them up into as many pieces as possible. You're still passing all of those pieces through your system. The question is, when we talk about surface level, when we talk about reach, can we reach further? Is If I have a trillion marbles to my one earth, and I unfold the earth, and I unfold the trillion marbles, is the surface size of the marbles bigger than the surface size of the earth? The answer is yes, and not just, not just a little bit, exponentially bigger, exponentially bigger, meaning the reach or the influence of those molecules is massively bigger. So not only are you getting more efficient use, you're get, and not only are you able to tune that use for usability within the system, you are now also maximizing its coverage in the system. All by nano. That's why we wanted to do nanotechnology. That's why we're pushing it this way, is because you're going to create massive absorption with less waste and low, lower biological stress. Okay, we're going to start with the L's. If you know anything about nitric oxide, you know that the L's are critical for the chain reaction that creates the gas within the bloodstream, okay, to have these biological responses. So the L's, we have, we have four L's, L-norvaline, L-citrulline, L-arginine, L-ornithine, all of which are attacking the process of creating the nitric oxide reaction. That's what we're trying to do with these L's. Now, there might be another product in the, that is, is trying to attack this the same way. I am not aware of the four L's being used. I know of one or two being used, but the four L's being used, I have not seen yet. It doesn't mean it's not out there. It just means that I'm not aware of it. Vasodilation is what we're going for, and we're looking to relax the blood vessels. Exactly what I just told you about the pump with the steel pipe versus the pump with the flexible pipe. We're trying to balance the blood pressure so we get the proper flow of nutrient influence and lightweight frequency passing throughout your body, through all of the circulatory system. We've added beetroot with this, which is rich in nitrogen and oxygen, strong, strong antioxidant, fights inflammation, and also is a pretty good fiber support. Hawthorn berry and spinach leaf have been added to this as well for their antioxidant properties, their anti-inflammatory benefits, for lowering blood pressure, and to help with healthy cholesterol levels. And then to your and my favorite, Niacin, right? Niacin is here because it is a powerhouse for vasodilation. And that's exactly what you experience. When, if you start to experience... Now, I, I, so, so my mom... <laughs> I gave my mom... I gave her 100 milligrams of niacin. And... I, you know, I know that she doesn't necessarily, I mean, she's, she's fairly healthy, but, but uh, I gave her 100 milligrams of niacin, and I'm like, Mom, you might be cursing me in like 10 minutes, but, uh, but hang on, this is really good for you, right? Just, just stick with me on this, right? And so she takes it, and uh, we're, we're just hanging out, and, Nothing's going on. And I'm like, nothing, mom? 
You, you, you got nothing? You're not feeling anything? No heat? No itching? No, no tingling? No. And I'm like, oh, bad news, Mom. We got to give you a thousand milligrams because you are so low in niacin, you're not even getting it to a level. Your, bob, your body is absorbing it and using it, and it's, it's, already in fun, it's already gone. It's already been used and dissolved. You've made max use of the 100 milligrams. We need to up it in order to be able to get you to a period where intentionally we want to get to a reaction if we can, if we don't use niacin on a regular basis. If it's not a regular part, and I'm not talking about the recommended daily value amounts, okay? I'm not talking about the 16 and a half, 17 milligram amounts. I'm talking about... 50 or more daily, right? We want to at least be in that space when it comes to niacin in order to be able to, over time, get the saturation level where we want it to be. Now, what will happen is, I mean, did you have the experience uh, where you said you took it for 30 days? And that was a, a massive amount, seven grams. Did the reaction lessen either in impact or in time or both? Both. In the beginning, it was really intense, and then I took a 30-day break, and then after two weeks, it was more intense, I think, than the first time, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that totally makes sense. And so, what, and that's exactly what you should experience. The, the, the more in, intense the reaction commonly is your body learning how to make use of the niacin. The, the, if there's no reaction, then we want to go <laughs> again, Right? Because we do want to get to the level where we actually have an experience with the niacin and at least the, the inkling of a flush. Then the more saturated our body is, the, the more powerful it is being utilized throughout the system. And because of the nano size, it's actually being utilized in such a way where it's massively powerful because it's absorbing so fast. Now, with niacin... Um, the key benefits, you're, you're talking about not just the vasodilation, although that is really what you are experiencing when you have the heat, the itching, the sunburn sort of effect. But that is the effect uh, uh, of the niacin in and of itself. But yeah, at Solex, we started with 1,000 milligrams, and we went to sub what is in pulse, but we weren't getting uh, enough of a reaction. And, and I hate to say it that way, but you need to know that it's working, right? You need to know that it's working. And you need to know that you're staying. Now, if you, if, you, if you go through and you're like pulse and you're like just 50 pumps, let's go, right? And you have no reaction, then, not, then good. You're probably actually in great shape, especially, especially if you've done that day after day after day after day, right? But in the sense, what we want is not a massive amount of nitric oxide reaction in the body. We don't. In and of itself, too much actually is going to cause, too much. Now, if you took serving sizes of pulse three to four times a day, we're not even close to where, we, where I would say, oh, I wouldn't take anymore. Because you can't have a nitric oxide reaction that actually then creates reactive oxygen species. But that is in a much higher reaction space, and we're not there. We're trying to reach a targeted, quick absorption, massive utilization space that you can just regularly keep saturation within your system and then make use of that. There's so much to learn about Pulse. You know, we had um, a test group that tested out Pulse before we launched it for, what, what about a month? About a month they had it. Yeah. yeah. And um, one of those uh, testers was Tammy Ward. And her experience, she told us she didn't change anything else except for pulse. Yeah. And after about six weeks of pulse, she lost 15 pounds. That's a pretty you know, good testimonial. That, that is. That is. I, I don't know if there, there's not. a Maybe there is. And I just haven't come across it. But a satiating benefit of the ingredients that are in pulse. But when I take pulse, I usually do it for exercise. Like yeah. I'll take it before I exercise. Um, and... I feel just fine. I, I feel complete. I feel ready to go uh, when I take Pulse. Now, the niacin flush that we reference when we talk about Pulse is real. Yes. It's totally real for mm -hmm. most people. And it's a good thing. It's a, and it's a really good thing. 
Um, and also, you know that it's working. I yeah. mean, it's a great indicator, but niacin alone is a massive antioxidant in and of itself. But I think what we should do, oh, and we aren't even, I mean, that's not even talking about the nanotechnology oh, yeah. about this, then the nano effect of this, which is amazing. It's so <laughs> powerful. But let's talk about the benefits of pulse. Comment on this call, and we're going to give away some pulse, right? Yeah, let's do it. So comment on this call. Something about one of the ingredients in, in Pulse itself, specifically niacin. There is so much that is unknown or people are unaware of about the benefits of niacin. But there teach us. Books you all books. do a wonderful job every yeah. week of teaching us, and we want you to teach us about niacin. Yeah, so comment on this call. Teach us something that you know or that you've gone out and learned uh, during this week about niacin that is beneficial for your health. And, how, and then hopefully the collective, like, will all be beneficiaries of everybody's collective knowledge, right? That's right. And then next week, of course, you comment on this, this YouTube call, and we will then draw three names and give away polls to three people. Sounds good. Have a great week. <laughs> Colloidal silver as an antifungal. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Knocked over my drink. You okay? How bad is that? Okay. I wasn't good today, Jake. <laughs> she was trying really hard. Do you want hard. me to start over? <laughs> <laughs> no.